Ever wondered why your dog behaves the way it does? Well, there are numerous factors that can influence your dog's behavior. Some of the most common behavior problems in dogs include aggression, excessive barking, and chewing. Aggression can manifest in various ways, such as growling, snapping, or even biting. On the other hand, barking is a natural form of communication for dogs, but it can become problematic when it's excessive. Chewing, while a normal behavior, especially in puppies, can become destructive if not properly managed. These behaviors are often a result of lack of training, miscommunication, or sometimes even health issues. It's crucial to remember that dogs, much like us, communicate their needs and feelings through their behavior. Misunderstanding or ignoring these signals can lead to these common behavior problems. Understanding your dog's behavior is the first step to effective training. Dog training is not as daunting as it seems. It's all about communication and consistency. Let's dive straight into the basics of dog training. At the heart of it, we find positive reinforcement. This is the practice of rewarding good behavior to encourage its repetition. Think of it as a canine version of carrot and stick, only without the stick. The rewards can be anything that your furry friend loves, treats, praises, toys, or a combination of these. The key is to make sure that the reward is enticing enough to motivate your dog. Now, onto the basic commands. First up, we have sit. Start by holding a treat close to your dog's nose. Move your hand up, allowing their head to follow the treat and causing their bottom to lower. Once they're sitting, say sit, give them the treat and share affection. Next, we have the stay command. This one is a little trickier and requires your dog to already understand the sit command. Ask your dog to sit. Then open the palm of your hand in front of you and say stay. Take a few steps back. If they stay, reward them with a treat and affection. Gradually increase the number of steps you take before giving the reward. Finally, let's tackle the come command. This one can help keep a dog out of trouble or bring them back to you if they slip out of their leash. Put a leash and collar on your dog. Go down to their level and say come while gently pulling on the leash. When they get to you, reward them with affection and a treat. The most crucial aspect of dog training is consistency. Ensure you use the same command and reward system each time so that your dog can make the connection. And remember, patience is just as important. Your dog may not get these commands right away, but with consistent effort and lots of love, they'll get there. Remember, patience and consistency are key in dog training. Now that we've covered the basics, let's tackle some specific behavior problems. One common issue dog owners encounter is excessive barking. To handle this, it's recommended to ignore the behavior until it ceases. When your dog finally quiets down, that's the perfect time to reward them. This serves to reinforce the idea that silence, not noise, earns them your attention and affection. Another prevalent problem is chewing. Dogs, especially puppies, have a natural inclination to chew. It's part of how they explore the world, but when your favorite shoes become the chew toy, that's a problem. The solution? Provide appropriate chew toys and keep valuable items out of reach. By doing this, you're setting clear boundaries on what's acceptable to chew and what's not. Remember, patience is key. It's all about understanding the cause behind the behavior and providing appropriate solutions. Addressing specific behavior problems involves understanding the cause and providing appropriate solutions. So, what have we learned about dog training today? Well, we've discovered that understanding common dog behavior problems is a crucial first step. Recognizing these issues can be enlightening, helping us understand why our furry friends act the way they do. Next, we've delved into the basics of dog training. We've learned that positive reinforcement is a powerful tool in our training arsenal. A simple reward for good behavior can go a long way in teaching our dogs what we expect of them. We've also explored the importance of teaching basic commands. These commands not only help maintain order, but also ensure the safety and well-being of our pets. Lastly, we've discussed how to deal with specific behavior problems. Every dog is unique, and their issues may require unique solutions. But regardless of the problem, remember that kindness and patience are key in addressing these issues. With understanding, patience, and consistency, you can help your dog become a well-behaved member of your family. Happy training!